everybody, this is Jessica Rutia with Stamp a Blessing. I'm really happy to come back to bring you another Friday Innovate. I'm very excited about today and what I'm going to show you. I have four different ideas for you, but on this video, I'm only going to show you two to keep it short because I can go and go and go and never finish. So today, today I want to show you how to use your embossing paste with embossing powder. Stamping Up came up with embossing paste. It's not a new um, a new item in the market. I think it's been out there for a while, but hey, Stamping Up brought it, so now I'm trying it. Every time Stamping Up brings something, I try it. So this is the embossing paste, and uh, I made a card with, with embossing, um, embossing powder and the embossing paste, and it turned out to be really, really neat. And uh, look at that, that is with the heat um, the heat gun and then I decided to use my embossing powder in another way and I'm gonna show it to you in just a minute okay but this won't take long it's really easy and I am just super excited to be showing it to you today okay so let's start really quick I have my palette knives I have my embossing folder and uh, what else do I need I have my embossing powder and I have, in this case, I'm not gonna use my wax paper. I'm going to use my little, um, this thing that the name is not coming to me now. And you will need one of the new um, decorative masks or stencils um, that Stamping Up has or any that you have at home. Just go ahead and use it. And today I'm going to use the diamond shape for this uh, for this sample and I have a little piece of paper right here. I also have my washi tape So I'm gonna get some washi tape to secure my My mask, okay, so get some washi tape or any kind of tape really but I like washi because it's easy And it I can peel it off quickly and let me show you how I do it here I'm gonna put my paper in there. I'm going to align it there and I'm gonna put some of my washi tape on the sides, I'm gonna open my embossing paste. And I'm gonna get some of this yummy paste out and I'm just gonna go ahead and, go ahead and put it all over my, my piece of Whisper White. Let's see, I just move it around. You don't need that much. I think I'm even putting more than I should. But you are able to see the little diamonds just getting full with with the paste, okay? So here you have it. There is one. And I'm gonna take my extras over here. I'm gonna take this off because I'm not liking how he's keeping it stuck. I'm gonna close this and I'm going to take this off again. Now, if you have the time, go ahead and clean your your um, stencil or your mask right away. I have a wet towel right here in my hand. So you just bring a wet towel when you have it. I also brought some paper towels with me, so I'm gonna dry it quickly, okay? And this is just an idea. Another idea is if you don't have time to clean it right away, go ahead and put it in a in a container with water as you can see here i put it in a container with water okay you can leave it there until you're done and then when you're totally done you just pick it up and go wash it and hey this didn't look so good this time but i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway okay it's not perfectly done as i like it i'm gonna use my embossing powder real quick and in this case you have two options you either mix it or you sprinkle it and this time i'm going to sprinkle it okay and as you can see the the image looks really really cute when it's just white it looks beautiful brings such a dimension but in this case i'm just before it dries i'm just going to put some of my embossing powder on top like that and i'm going to deal with that rest later so i'm going to put this over here and there you have it. What I'm gonna have is I'm gonna bring quickly my heat gun. And you can wait or you can do it. I waited um, with several samples and you know what? It looks exactly the same. It kind of bubbles up a bit. So now we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you how this changes. I think that is done. And that is one of the options that you have. As you can see it right here. 
that is one of the options that you have this is the prior one that i made with this same stencil or mask and then i created a card with it that i already showed you here it is and i use my other stencil i'm gonna do it a little different and i have another embossing powder that is in gray and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a piece of cardstock again i'm going to bring let me see what i can bring <coughs> excuse me i'm going to bring my wall because i'm really excited with this wall and the message that the lord put in my heart today for you i have another power word but i'm going to be sharing it with you in a little bit so i'm going to put this here i'm going to grab some of my washi tape and now what i'm going to do is a little bit different i'm going to take some of the embossing paste if you have your craft sheet you can use it i just cannot find mine and i have no idea where is it now i'm gonna you're gonna take um wax paper instead of your craft sheet and I'm going to put a little bit of this in here, a little bit of the embossing paste. I hope you can see it. There you go. And then I'm going to take the embossing powder. And this is just another way of coloring your, your paste. Instead of using ink refills, like many people are using, and like our company also tells us that we could do, you can just add a few drops of ink refill. But I have chosen to add the embossing powder right on it to give the color. So, you're going to just move it around until your embossing paste has that. And you know what I love about this? It's, it's, a, it's an embossing powder that is like silvery. It brings like that texture of, of a wall, of a real wall on it. And then you're just going to put it around your paper like you usually would. Okay. And oh dear, I think I make too much. I'm going to use it here. Da, da, da. look how cute this is gonna look it's absolutely gorgeous you're gonna love it and this one i'm not going to set with a heat tool because it will set on its own it doesn't need anything okay it's totally fine so let me raise my mask okay i'm gonna take this off and since i don't want to wash it right now i'm gonna go and put it in the in the tray with water and just put it there and look how beautiful that looks isn't that absolutely gorgeous i love it love it love it love it this i love it love it love it love it this is my favorite i'm gonna show it to you right here hope you can see it well okay so those are the two different ways that you can um use it with embossing embossing powder and the embossing paste i really love it and i want to share a word with you really quick this morning i was um having my devotional and this really spoke to me this week as i was making this card and it came actually the inspiration of this card was making a wall and remembering who my wall is and i read in isaiah 26 i read this week I read Isaiah 26, verses 1 through 3. I'm going to read them to you. It says, We have a strong city. God makes salvation, its walls and ramparts. Open the gates that the righteous nation may enter the nation that keeps faith. Then it says, You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Again, this is in Isaiah 26, 1, 2, 3. And this is so powerful. It says that we have a city. And I'm going to encourage you today to stay inside that city. Sometimes we get out of the city. We get out of the, of the protection that God has offered for us. We just want to go our own way. But I'm just encouraging you to stay inside the city. To stay inside what God has already given you. The promises that he gave you. Then know your walls. Psalm 27 says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? So he's my salvation. And this verse in Isaiah 26 says that God makes salvation my walls. My walls are made out of, of salvation. And he himself is my salvation. Know your walls. Walls define who you are. Walls define your limits. Walls define also where the enemy stops to not bother you anymore. He cannot come in past that wall. And you know who is your 
wall. So I'm calling you and encouraging you today to know your wall of salvation, to know your God. Also, that wall protects you and it also brings rest and peace. You can sleep well. That's what the word says. You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Keep trusting. Jesus loves you. He wants you well. And I just want to share this with you. I just love you so much. And the word fires me up. It just encourages me every day. Look at this verse in Isaiah 60. Check it out real quick. I will make peace your governor and righteousness your ruler. You will call your wall salvation and your gates praise. You are the one that needs to call your wall salvation. You are the one that needs to call your gates praise. What comes in and what goes out, only you can decide. But keeps your eyes fixed on Jesus. And remember, who is your wall? God bless you. Thank you for following me and subscribing to my channel. Give me some thumbs up for this for this video. And, I, and go check my other video. It has the one with the glitter. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.